Now to another top talker. The Browns shut out win against the Cardinals in Cleveland yesterday. Well, Mike Polk was watching and he had some advice for all of us Browns fans who apparently need some help dealing with winning games that we were supposed to win. Yeah. So I, it's like, why are we surprised? It's is a weird adjustment saying? for us to make, isn't yeah, it? After, we always you know, lose the games we were supposed to win. Yes, this is normally <laughs> our role. I mean, right. but that was, I mean, let's face it, a heck of a ball game yesterday, folks. I wouldn't necessarily want that to have been anyone's first experience watching American football, as it was, in fairness, technically quite gross. <laughs> the Arizona Card Cardinals are bad. They are the Kent State of football. Oh. And I can say that because I went there. Wow. The okay. Cardinals are so bad that they should just shut that team down every November like they're a spirit Halloween. Aww. But of course, <laughs> a win's a win, and the Browns needed that one. Deshaun Watson didn't necessarily look good, but he did look like he was starting to remember what it was like to be good, hopefully, and maybe he can be that again. And of course, nothing helps get your defense back on track like squaring off against a one-win team with no running backs. And, a, and starting this unknown rookie fifth-round draft pick, Clayton Toon, <laughs> which sounds like a fake quarterback name generated by AI. And you can tell that Clayton Toon isn't a prominent quarterback because that's not even him. That's former Browns quarterback Charlie Fry. I just wanted to see if anybody would notice if I didn't use a picture oh, of Mike Clayton Toon. Like him. <laughs> of course, we sympathize with the Arizona Cardinals and their fans because we've been them. For the past 20 years, the Browns played the role of the unspeakably bad team that decent teams would blow out in order to feel good about themselves or get their season back on track. What's that? Your team is currently three and three and your fan base is getting restless? Please allow the Cleveland Browns to help you get your groove back. Come decimate us. And all because, as it turns out, a trouncing of an opponent disrespectfully is still a positive boost for your team, regardless of whether or not that opponent that you defeat is demonstrably inferior and starting an unknown rookie quarterback like Clayton Toon here. That's still not him. That's actually Machine Gun Kelly. I just oh wanted to God. see if anybody, <laughs> oh my goodness. if I could trick somebody You're again. You're practicing your AI today. It's true. I know I'm pretty good at it, you guys. <sighs> Finally, perhaps you've heard that the Browns accomplished quite the milestone yesterday in that they recorded their first shutout since 2007. That shutout win, of course. We've been on the other side of them several times. That was the <laughs> longest active streak for an NFL team not securing a shutout, and it was indeed an abnormally impressive run. 2007 was a long time ago. And of course, this is the part of the segment where normally I would do the cliche thing of illustrating just how long it's been since the Browns had a shutout by referencing things that were in pop culture back then. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do, so buckle <laughs> up. The last year that the Browns shut a team down, shut a team out, was so long ago that The Sopranos was still on wow. the air. The first iPhone came out, Rihanna's umbrella dropped, Bob Barker was still hosting The Price is Right. The final Harry Potter book was released. Wow. Arnold Schwarzenegger was the governor of California. And Tobey Maguire was still Spider-Man. <laughs> Just one more illustration of how long it's been. The last year the Browns shut out a team was the first year that LeBron went to the finals when he was still with the Cavs the first time. So it's fair to say that we are past due for this. Can we see that? There's, there's my boys. There we That's go. when he drugged those stiffs kicking and screaming into the finals. We got swept in four, but it was still a really good learning experience for him. But that's how long it's been since the Browns have had a You're shutout. You're making me feel old. Right? right? <laughs> Right. That's so funny. He really does look like Charlie Fry. Doesn't he, though? <laughs> bringing that Charlie Fry it's reference. It's not hard to. You know, my favorite was there was a cutaway of a Cleveland Browns fan after uh, Amari Cooper mm -hmm. caught the deflected pass in the, in the end zone for yeah. the touchdown. There was a fan in the stand, a Browns fan who looked, he shook his head. He was Dejected. Like, now, you know what that explain is? Explain that. I'll psyche. tell you what that is. Yeah. What that is is that that fan has probably been a fan a long time, and that's not supposed to happen to for us. It's supposed to happen to us. And that was that fan going, "Is it really happening? Are we not that anymore?" Because that was a very lucky thing, and normally lucky things don't happen to Browns. So that guy's just come to terms with it. Or, or maybe he lost a gambling parlay. <laughs> probably that. That could be true. Probably that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's in the hole. Oh yeah. my gosh. Oh. Thanks so much, Mike. No Love problem. your Go perspective, Browns. Mike. Thank you. Go, Go Browns. Browns. Yeah.